And the other good thing about having the biodigester over the other septic, now we're able to utilize the water that comes from it to irrigate the plants that we're gonna have going around the house instead of just wasting it completely. I think it's a whole better option than to go with the, the conventional septic that we have. And for price, it is no different. So you might as well do it. You're, you're saving yourself and you can reutilize water and protect the environment. I'm learning that from Keller. I do care about the environment, but she really does. It's the little things that count. It's the little things that add up. Check out the walls. Okay, gotcha. You. You're gonna say, well, big deal. What's up with the walls? So this is our pool room or our storage room. And as you can see, pipes are completely exposed. guys are working so hard this right here is gonna be our fire pit so we're gonna have seating um, concrete seating around and a little fire pit so a, a point or a place where we can all come together if um, everybody wants to hang out together if you guys have ideas we've never really had a wall like this where it's above so should we put some plants there what should we put up there you know who's gonna be a big help to us. I just wanna see what your ideas are, but Maya B will be down here shortly. Meet our incredible interior designer who transformed our house into a dream come true. Her creative vision and attention to detail brought new life to every corner. Contact info in description. Our biggest concern about the kitchen was counter space. We don't have a lot. Kelly has an idea. Back to our RV days. They just have a thing that folds out and then put it down when you're not using it. We could also get the covers for like the sink, which I think actually we do have a cover with the sink. So that will give us some more space as well. We're just amazed at how fast they're going and where we are. We do know for a fact that we're gonna need more um, solar power. So we're working with a company um, to upgrade our system, even though we just put it in because what we have right now is not gonna be enough. So this is the track that we're gonna have for the door. Why is this a big deal for us? When it rained, it flooded in our house. And that's because the way the doors are, it's flat. So the water run, ran right under the groove and that's something we still haven't figured out yet. So this here is gonna be a nice big window and then it's gonna open like halfway. So we'll have a nice um, breeze coming through. Did I mention fly season? Anyway, so stairs, we originally, the plan was to go um, lights on every step, but then we decided that the light's gonna be kind of right in your face as you're walking up. So now we're not doing any lights that way. We'll do every, was every other one on the side of the wall. So it's kind of shining this way, which will be nice just to light it up and not in your face. So our guys, from the start, they were staying here. So they would stay just, on the dirt, like a nothing because the house wasn't built. And then as they moved faster, you know, once they started moving along in the process, they were living inside the house, inside the casitas. Now they moved to the roof because it is snake season. Um, it's scorpion season, centipede season, everything creepy crawly. So they moved up here, it's a lot safer and they probably get the breeze because um, nighttime, it's a little warm. So there you have it, folks. Another happy week in the book. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you found it informational, educational, and if you're thinking about or in the process of building or buying in Mexico, best of luck to you and Godspeed. Would you do it again? If we had money, yeah. <laughs>
If somebody asked me that, like, you're probably done, huh? I'm like, money-wise, yeah, we're done. We're done. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ding that bell if you haven't already so you can be notified of our next video. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below.